हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कैंपस एक्स आज हम एक इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम करने वाले हैं विच इज़ द लार्जेस्ट रेक्टेंगल इन हिस्टोग्राम प्रॉब्लम सो ये क्वेश्चन मैंने लीड कोड से उठाया है सो वे आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट द लॉजिक बिहाइंड इट वे आर गोइंग टू यूज टैक्स एंड वे आर गोइंग टू कोड इट आउट इन जावा सो लेट्स सी वॉट द प्रॉब्लम इज सो वी विल बी गिवेन अस्टोग्राम ओके सो इन हिस्टोग्राम वी हैव हाइट्स राइट सो टू फाइव फोर फाइव Two, one, five, and it will be given to you in the form of an input list. Okay, uh, so you see two, five, four, five. Now, what you are required to do is find out the area of every rectangle. Area of every every rectangle. So uh, let's just think about it. This is the height, right? And we assume that every rectangle has a width of one unit. Every bar has a width of one unit. So one rectangle of this could be this one right the area could be the the, the area would be three parts which means three units into four the height is four so its area is 12 another rectangle could be this one so we have five bars here and the height is 2 so 5 into 2 10 its area is 10 another rectangle could be this one whose uh, It's going to be whose area is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven into one, seven, right? We have you have to find the largest rectangle. So this is the largest rectangle with area twelve. Okay, you have to do this. So pause the video and think of a solution. So the way we will do this is uh, first we will assign an index to it uh, just for visual purposes because आपके पास array होगा या फिर list होगा. उस लिस्ट में तो आपको इंडेक्स रहेगा ही सो वॉट वी आर टू इज टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ टू फाइंड रेक्टेंगल्स इवन सो इन दैट केस वॉट वी कैन डू इज फाइंड आउट वॉट आर द लेफ्ट बाउंड्री एंड द राइट बाउंड्री ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर दिस रेक्टेंगल सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट द लेफ्ट बाउंड्री सो द लेफ्ट बाउंड्री ऑफ दिस रेक्टेंगल वुड बी माइनस वन okay because there exists nothing in the left and the right boundary of this rectangle is 5 okay the left boundary of this rectangle is 0 and the right boundary of this rectangle is 4 so we are going to keep uh, two lists which are going to find out the left boundaries and right boundaries for all the elements so for this we are going to traverse from left to right to find the left boundaries and right to left to find the right boundaries so we are going to find the left boundary for this which will be minus 1 then for this rectangle which will be 0 and for this 4 the rectangle would be this one so we are, for every bar we are going to see which rectangle it fits in and we are going to find the left boundary of that rectangle so after we have found the left boundaries what we are doing by finding the left boundaries and right boundaries is determining the width of the rectangle right and then we can multiply this width with the height using a proper formula and find the area and then we can get the maximum area which is 12 so the question arises how do we go about and calculate the left boundaries so it's very simple we are going to have a left boundaries list we are going to have a stack and we are going to traverse from left to right i mean from 0 to the list ka size jo bhi hai and we are going to uh, one by one find out the left boundaries for every bar i mean for every rectangle that the bar fits in so we are going to start off with zero so the idea is for every rectangle for every bar we are going to pop things from stack until we find something which is lesser than this two so in this case uh, there is nothing in the stack the stack is empty so we are going to write minus 1 and then we are going to push this zero into the stack okay and then we move on to 1 okay so for this bar it fi fits into one rectangle which is this so for 5 we are going to pop things from the stack until we find something which is lesser than 5 so we see that 0 is there 0 corresponding to 0 the height is 2 2 is lesser than 5 that means we have find, found out the left boundary so we write 0 in so we write 0 in place of 5 and we push this one into the stack okay now for this two 
this bar it fits in this rectangle we're going to find the left boundary of this rectangle so we see that there exists one so at the one position we have five which is greater than four so pop things so pop elements from the stack until you find something which is lesser than this four so now we have zero corresponding to zero we have two so two is lesser than four so do not pop and uh, in the place of four right uh, down the left boundary is zero because you have found the left boundary and then push the two into the stack and uh, similarly you can do this thing for three and four uh, i have jumped to five so the stack is zero two three four and we have found out the left boundary is still here so for this five this one belongs to this left boundary right we are going to uh, rectangle we are going to find the left boundary of this rectangle so we see we have four corresponding to four we have two two is greater than one so pop element then we see that there is three on the stack there is three on the stack which corresponding to that we have five five is greater than one so pop element then we see there is two in the stack corresponding to we have four so we pop corresponding to zero we have two which is also greater than one so we pop now the stack becomes empty that means we have found the left boundary and we are going to write that as minus one and then we are going to push five into the stack and similarly we can do it for number six also which will be five and the stack will have six now we are going to do the same thing for finding out the left boundaries instead so finding out the left boundaries we were looking at the stack so apparently looking into the stack was meaning that we are looking behind so for this rectangle we are looking behind to find the left boundary we are going to follow the same approach but on the other hand side right so we are going to look on the right so we will so we are going to uh, traverse from the right okay we are going to fill things from the right uh, from the back and apparently looking into the stack would mean that we are for any box we are looking onto the right to find out the right boundary so we are starting off with 6 okay so for 6 we see that there is nothing into the stack so the idea remains the same look into the stack and pop things from stack until you find something which is lesser than 5 okay so for this case the stack is empty so we push uh, we actually write 7 here and we push this 6 into the stack okay then we move on to 5 so for 1 we look into the stack we see that there exists 6 here uh, 6 here and corresponding to 6 we have 5 which is greater than 1 so pop element and then we see the stack becomes empty so we write here uh, 7 because that is the right boundary and we push 5 into the stack similarly for 4 uh, we see that there exists 5 so in the fifth position we have one so which is lesser than two so we write five here that means that is the right boundary and we write five here and we push the four into this time similarly you can do it for three i did not do i calculated it right away so let's see about this rectangle and let's see what its right boundary is going to be so we see that there exists three in the stack so we see that corresponding to three we have five so five is greater than four so we pop element for this uh, okay now we have four corresponding to four we have two so two is lesser than this four so now we have found out the right boundary so we push this uh, not push we write four this right boundary onto the place of two and we push this two into the stack okay so and similarly you can do it for uh, zero and one two okay now we have the left boundaries and the right boundaries we also have the histogram heights now how do we go about and find the areas so the thing is very simple uh, what we have found out by left and right boundaries are the widths right the widths uh, from which uh, index to which index our rectangle is extending so we are going to apply a simple formula which is right minus left minus one okay that is the width uh, of our rectangle and the height is this so we are going to find the area by width into height so here in this case 5 minus of minus 1 is 6 minus 1 here which is going to result in 5 and the corresponding height is 2 so 5 into 2 is 10 
and similarly we find out the areas for all the rectangles that we find out and the maximum one comes to be 12 and that's what we are going to return so if you are with me till here so thank you and let's go to the coding section so first of all we need linked list and stack right so we are going to import java dot util dot star uh, java what am i writing util dot star okay so we're going to have three lists remember integer uh, so the first one will be input list the next one will be the uh, uh, left boundaries list and other one we are going to have the right boundaries list right left bound i'm going to name it bound is equal to new link list and this will be right bound we also need a stack okay now do not forget to make the static before i forget let me make them static otherwise static context may bulana chahunga so it will give me gallies <laughs> We're going to make this input method which is going to fill this list. Fill this list method. You can fill this list manually. In this case, I'm going to do manually. Manually, which will be very easy for me. So the input we are going to have is the same as we have seen in the video. Actually, in the demo before. Uh, 2, then 5, 4, 5, 2, 1. What was the last one? Five. So I'm quickly going to fill the list. So here I have filled the list. Now let's go to the code algorithm. So it turns out the co code algorithm has three parts. Bound. We have to find the left boundaries first, then the right boundaries, and then we have to find find the max area. So let's go and find the left boundaries. So for left boundaries, we said that we'll be traversing the list from the left, right? So integer i equal to zero, i less than l l dot size, i plus plus. Okay, so for every element, to find out the left boundary, we are going to look into the stack and pop things from the stack. We are going to pop things from the stack until we get something. So we are going to peak the stack and we are going to do a get here. So remember that in the stack we are storing the in the, uh, storing the indexes, right? So to see what actual element is there, we are going to do stack dot peak and we are going to pass that to l, l, l dot get. So if we get something which is lesser than the current one, let lesser than the current element, we are going to stop popping. We are going to stop popping. That's what this condition is saying. And since we are popping things from the stack, it might happen that our stack gets empty. Otherwise, it will give an. If we don't have an condition to stop this loop, we'll run into exceptions. So after we have popped everything which is greater than, which has greater than this value, we're going to see that if we have our stack which is empty, uh, if we have an empty stack, right? In that case, we are going to, we have reached the left hand side, left most part of the array. And we have found out that the left boundary is going to be minus one. Else, our left bound will be whatever we have peaked. That means whatever we have found out, it is going to be stack dot peak. Okay. After that, we are going to push this current current index into the stack. Okay, so that's it. That's how you find the left boundaries. Now, similarly for the right boundaries. So finding right boundaries is opposite to finding left boundaries. Right. So we are going to traverse the list from behind. LL dot size minus one. I greater than equal to zero. I minus minus. So the algorithm says that keep popping things from the stack. I mean, look into the stack and keep popping th things from the stack until you find something which is lesser than the current element. So ll dot get i stack dot peak. So we are going to peak the stack 
and since we are storing the in uh, since we are storing the indexes we are going to see what the value is corresponding to that if that value is lesser than the current uh, the current element that we are checking we are going to stop this loop okay now since we are popping things from the stack we have to check for empty stack except uh, empty stack condition otherwise we will run into exceptions so after we finish this loop we have to check that if our stack was empty then uh, we have reached the right hand side and we are going to append 7 to our right bound okay so in that place we are going to append 7 uh, now we are going to append it in the first so we said that the right boundaries list will get filled from the last so appending things at the in at the front apparently means you are filling the appending things into the first which is apparently filling the list from the last now once you have you do not have the stack to be empty that means you have find found out the right boundary to be something which is in the stack.p comma stack dot peak and we are going to do stack dot push the current i and that's it that's how you find right boundaries one thing we have to take care of is after finding out the left boundaries the stack might contain some something some so we might consider clearing it up and let's print out the left boundaries and right boundaries list and see whether we have our desired results so our desired results would be the this these okay i have already written them down so here i am printing the uh, left boundaries list first then i am printing the right boundaries let's see if we did any mistake here and seems that we did not make any mistake okay it matches so now we can go ahead and find out the max area so remember we were making an area list so where we where we were keeping all the areas now turns out that we don't have to keep that list because we are going to calculate that max area uh, by keeping the max by keeping track of the maximum element so we are going to traverse the left boundaries and right boundaries list from the first uh, left boundary bound dot size we can also do right, right bound dot size doesn't matter i plus plus so we're going to apply that formula so current area let's see what the current area is the current area will be left bound dot get i get i sorry current area will be right bound dot get i minus left bound minus one and into we have to do the height size into height so the height will be stored in ll dot i okay and then we have to check that if the current area is some is something greater than max then we are going to update the max with the current area simple max finding logic now we are going to tell the user that we have found out the largest rectangle and it should print out 12 for this current and there we go now we still have these two uh, statements i'm going to remove them and there you go so that's the largest area so thank you for staying along this far and and we'll meet in the next video